Greetings and salutations and a very warm welcome to this MechWarrior Online build video. In this video, I'll be sharing another build that I've had a great deal of fun with recently. As in my last video, the build is for the revered 85 ton Innisfear Assault Battle Mech named the Battlemaster. But this time, I will be presenting a build for the chassis 3 mic variant. As in my last build video, the build I would like to share with you in this video exploits the quirks of the variant to maximum effect. The quirks can be found under the enhancement section in the mech stats, and we can see this variant of the Battlemaster chassis has missile cooldown of minus 10%, missile heat generation of minus 10%, cooldown of minus 10%, velocity of plus 10%, mech top speed of plus 7.5%, laser duration of minus 10%, Medium laser heat scale limit of plus 2, medium pulse laser heat scale limit of plus 2, and the number of armor and structure enhancements. This variant of the Battlemaster chassis has one ballistic hardpoint in its left arm, eight energy hardpoints, two in the right arm, and three in each side torso, one missile hardpoint in the left torso, and one AMS hardpoint in the right torso. The torso energy hardpoints are all at or above cockpit level, and the cockpit is high on the torso. The missile hardpoint is also above cockpit level, sitting on the left shoulder. The two arm energy hardpoints and the ballistic hardpoint are on the forearms and are low slung. So, on to the build itself. Exploiting the quirks we've just examined, this build's armament is formed of eight extended range medium lasers and an MRM 40, which, as can be seen, except for the two lasers in the right arm, are all high-mounted in the mech's two side torsos. As this variant has a quirk to increase the heat scale limit of medium lasers by two, all eight ER medium lasers can be fired simultaneously without incurring ghost heat. Each ER medium laser delivers five damage, meaning combined the eight ER medium lasers deliver 40 damage. Although this damage is not pinpoint, the duration of the lasers is reduced by 10% by a quirk, and can be further reduced by an additional 10% in the skill tree for a combined 20% reduction. In so doing, the lasers only need to be held on the target for 675 milliseconds to deliver their full damage. In terms of duration, this renders the lasers very similar to medium pulse lasers which have a duration of 600 milliseconds. To get the most out of this build, rather than employing standard medium lasers, the extra range provided by the ER medium lasers has proved optimal. The issue with standard medium lasers is they are close mid-range weapons. Their optimal range is a meagre 270 meters with the damage decaying linearly thereafter up to their maximum range of 540 meters. ER medium lasers on the other hand have an optimal range of 360 meters with the damage decaying linearly thereafter up to their maximum range of 720 meters. The extra 90 meter optimal range an extra 180 meter maximum range might not seem like much on paper, but it makes a huge difference in practice as I will now demonstrate. Okay, so here we've equipped the Battle Master with eight medium lasers, and we're going to do an Alpha Strike test at a range of Target 517 acquired. meters. One. Two. Three, four, five, Level critical. starting to overheat a little bit. So we do left side, right side. Level Six, critical. seven, Level critical. eight, Level critical. nine, critical. Level Ten. Critical. Level eleven. Critical. So eleven and a half alpha strikes to take down that cataphract at a range of 517 meters. Let's see how the ER medium lasers do. Right, so to make this a fair test, let's do exactly the same thing again, but with the ER medium lasers. We have equipped eight of them here, and we're going to engage that cataphract on Canyon Network Target at a range of acquired. 517 meters as before. Focusing the centre torso, we just delivered one full alpha strike. Two, three. Level critical. Starting to get hot. Level 
four. Four and a half. There we go. So in comparison, to vanquish the cataphract on the training ground on Canyon Network at a range of 517 metres, it took 11.5 Alpha Strikes with standard medium lasers, whereas it took 4.5 Alpha Strikes with the ER medium lasers. The question becomes, was this a meaningful test? After many games testing this build, I have found that the opportunity to engage targets at around 500 metres is actually very common. I have also found that engaging targets at closer ranges than this is much, much more risky. So my answer to the question is yes. In conclusion, the ER medium lasers really do make a huge difference. Compared with standard medium lasers, the downside of ER medium lasers is their longer cooldown and increased heat. On this chassis, the ER medium lasers benefit from the minus 10% cooldown which makes them faster firing than standard stock medium lasers while the additional heat generated by the lasers is addressed by additional heat sinks and skills. The complement to the ER medium lasers on this build is an MRM-40, which delivers 40 damage up to its maximum range of 550 meters. The MRM-40 benefits from the missile cooldown quirk of minus 10%, the cooldown quirk of minus 10%, and the missile heat generation quirk of minus 10%, meaning it can fire nearly as fast as a stock MRM-10, while generating nearly as little heat as a stock MRM-30. While the lasers excel at stripping armor, removing components, and terminating mechs with their pseudo-pinpoint accuracy, the MRM-40 is excellent at inflicting critical hits on exposed structure. With similar effective ranges, both the ER medium lasers and the MRM-40 work excellently together. This build has an alpha strike of 80, which is very respectable. To accommodate this build, the structure needs to be endosteel, Heat sinks need to be double and the armor needs to be standard. This build runs a light engine 375, is equipped with nine double heat sinks and two tons of MRM ammo, which I've found is just enough for the vast majority of matchups. The heat management is a decent 1.37 and the top speed is a rapid 76.8 km per hour, which helps this mech continually engage at range. To make the most of the loadout, all of the missile nodes have been taken in the firepower tree, which increases the potency of the MRM-40. Additionally, all heat generation and laser duration nodes have been taken, which enhance the EOR medium lasers. The left-hand side of the survival tree has been taken to enhance the mech's armor and skeletal density. To keep the mech cool, full cool run and heat management has been taken. Finally, double UAV and double cool shot have been taken. And that's it. Let's now see how this build performs in the three games to follow. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Override engage. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. So the first game I would like to showcase this build in is on HPG Manifold. So here I'm heading towards the center in Echo 4 and I'm going to try and hold a corner looking across to Delta 5 to see if we can Catch the enemies coming up the ramp, see how we do. So it looks like they've got something on the wall already in Charlie 4, which is a little bit concerning for me. Acquired. Quite a few mechs there in Delta 4 low, so uh, managed to get a good couple of burns on the Arctic Wolf Contact Bravo there. New target acquired. It looks like our team is really pushing on this left hand side here. We have really, really no presence in Echo 4, which is very unusual. So already this game is playing out a little bit unusually.
target acquired. New target acquired. Target target acquired. Consider on this map, Echo 4 and Echo 5 would be our squares, and the enemies would be Delta 4, Delta 5. And as you can see, we've already target got a shape spotted. which is war target spotted. in Delta New 4 target and spotted. Echo 4. So we're doing a very hard push to the left here. New target acquired. So let me just see what I can see if I poke around this corner. There's a black lander. I just managed to get in with the missiles there. New target I just acquired. saw him through the smoke, which was pretty tricky to do. I probably should have used my heat vision potentially to see him better. New target acquired. But the enemies have now disappeared from our sensors, and I'm a little bit nervous about exactly that, where they are. Target spotted. And um, managed to get a good couple of missiles into that stalker. And I'm going to push up to here, up, up to this ramp on Echo 4. This will work. We can get done from up here. Activated. Dropping a UAV just to give me a bit of a forewarning. New target acquired. Target spotted. Got a good burn on the Abbas, but missed him with, his miss up, with my missiles as he dropped down. And it looks like target the enemy are counter pushing into Delta 4. New target acquired. Again, got a good, good load of burns on that Atlas. And we're going to hit by probably a bushwhacker there with his racks. And just backing New up target here. Target spotted. Target spotted. And I can see there's a Black Knight contact India. That's 600 target meters away. I can still do some damage to him at that range and um, try and. Dissuade going any higher, and getting a really favourable position for the enemy team. And there's a the timber walking on He's absolutely fired. opened my arm on my right torso. Very good shot from him, but that's made me feel very nervous. If we look at the team position, we can see we've got the enemy cornered in Delta 4, New which is very unusual acquired. for this map. Target but I'm going to move to bolster uh, that setup, and I'm going to move over to Delta 4 to try and get round the side of the enemy. Currently 2 all, very Target close match. Acquired. But positionally, I think we're, we're in a very strong position in this in this game. I can see that there's a catapult. I think it was. It was just going down underneath the ramp. Um, New target acquired. And I'm going to move in on him right now. Dropping a UAV to see if he's got friends. The contact echo the catapult beneath me. I can see he's open in the rear. Let's see if we can take him down. Managed to take a side torso there. Target spotted. Or his arm, sorry. We're experiencing some luck. Target and then finally get a good burn on this rear. And he's down. The enemies are eliminated. Now with three four down at this stage, and I'm a little bit nervous about my right torso, so I'm gonna take a bit of refuge just to see how acquired. the rest of this game is unfolding. And I can see that we've got a quick draw isolated on that fox trot, so I think he's gonna down up, go down very quickly. And uh, indeed it doesn't. I can now see there's an assault. It's an Atlas, it's that Atlas from before. In Delta target Force. I'm going to move over to try and engage with this guy. Uh, but New I noticed that we have acquired. enemies to our left, Delta 3. So just want to try to make a decision about who I engage here. But I think I'm going to go for the Atlas. So in we go. Right torso Got a good burn on him, damage. but he did hit me back on my right torso. Managed to get another good salvo into him, but he's got a lot of armor. One final salvo. Finally taking off his right torso. And then finally he goes down. Excellent. So we're 8 5 up at this stage, so we're doing some good work. I get hit. I thought it was from behind. Couldn't quite see where that was from, but I think it was in front. In hindsight. And there's something on the ramp there. That's a black lander, potentially, or a vapor eagle. Managed to get a half a burn on him. Um, before trying to target clear by uh, torso. And there's that tip of off the floor. Let's get some payback on We've this guy. Okay, he's dropped down. Let's see if we can follow him down. All right, he's going to go down shortly, but it's just a matter of time. Okay. He's dead. Now the Vapor Eagle. Excellent. No chance. All right, so they've just got one left. Uh, this has been a very well-executed maneuver by the team to capture or enclose the team in Delta 4. Um, in the low ground there, so we've done very well. We're just being told that there's a black land remaining and he's dropped over the back into Fox 3. I'm just uh, getting my bearings and I'll go in pursuit right now. Target spotted. Target acquired. There we are. He's on the, he's on the uh, map there. He's obviously got ECM and I'm moving in to engage. I think that's a Wolfhound Grinner in front. Excellent mech. Which is uh, also in pursuit. Target spotted. And he's going to go right, so I will go left. You can see the Black Lanner has got a very weak right leg and a weak right torso, but wow, look at those armaments. 
eight heavy medium lasers, that's gonna, nothing's going to be toasty. Target spotted. Right, he's coming this way, let's see if we can capture this guy. Is he going to come around this corner? He's coming, here he is. Let's get him. Oh, managed to take his leg, but not quite the whole thing. And uh, someone else does the job there. A really good outing good job, in this mech. I think it played very nicely indeed. See how we did. So, three killing blows, eight kill assists, one solo kill, two kill most damage dealt, and 763 damage done. And, well, that seems like a very good performance to me for a first outing in this particular mech. Let's have a look at the team. Um, so, we got a match score of 523. Excellent. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Override engaged. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Okay, so the second game I would like to showcase this mech in is on Rubalite Oasis. So as we've positioned in Charlie 3, and the uh, Delta 5, Delta 6 high ground is very close, we're all trying to make a decision about whether or not we should take that or possibly even go right into Echo 5. But we've decided to take the Delta 5, Delta 6 high ground, so we're all beelining for that very strong point on this map. It's quite relatively easy to defend, I would say. I wouldn't say quite easy. Um, but it is certainly a very strong position to hold. Um, gives you a big vantage uh, point from which you can see almost all of the map. Target We've already got contact in Echo 6. It looks like the enemy team are also Target pushing spotted. towards the Delta 5, Delta 6 high ground. Let's see what we're dealing with here. The Delta 6 ramp is clear. Target spotted. They haven't made it that far, but let's see what we can see around this corner. Ooh, they've got a sniper up. New target acquired. And there's the benefit of the ER medium lasers there. I was able to touch that uh, mech uh, with those lasers and get a good shot, a couple of shots Negative. off down there at those mechs down in Delta 7. Target spotted. So, as observed, it looks like the enemy team is at Echo 7 Fox Target in that spotted. sort of area, but they do seem to be heading towards the, uh, the Delta spotted. 6 ramp, which is really good for us because that's um, where we are. And we already hold that ground. Just took a UAV down there. Someone's got a missile locking me. I'm just backing up. And now I can see that there's a contact at the bottom of the Delta 6 ramp. Let's try and get a, another visual on the enemy. Target Hey, okay, we have a stalker contract Foxtrot in Echo 6. Let's see if we can get some hits on him. Uh, one of our own stalkers hiding there. Target why. Just about scraped the paint off that mech there. Missed those shots. Getting a good a good couple of burns on, on the stalker there. We can see a, now a thunderbolt directly beneath me. Uh, top dog. They're going to try and get that guy down, and um, well, he's totally caught. He's one shot essentially, and no doubt he'll go down without too much effort. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. Oh, someone's dropped an arty on us. That's a good one. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. Aha, we've got a great shot on this night gear downstairs. Let's see if we can inflict a lot of damage on this guy. Getting some really good hits to the back. Oh, 
and a rifleman just comes straight through my shot. So not sure what he's up to. And now we can see there's an assault Target's directly fired. beneath us, flashed up on the uh, UAV there. Looks like he's right beneath my position. I'm going to reposition because I'm not sure what's going on down there, and I'll have a look down the Delta 6 ramp. Let's reposition here to try and get some Target spotted. safety. One all very close, and we New can see acquired. a Hellspawn has pushed up the ramp. He's got a couple of good burns on him, and now he's dropped down. Aha, uh -huh, so there's that. Target there's spotted. an assault in Echo 5. Looks like a battle master. See if we can get an angle on him. Affirmative. Oh, and just as I get the angle, I've hit on from the left. And it's that stalker again. Okay, let's see if we can get a few good hits on him. Target uh, destroyed. Uh, there we are. Managed to clip him, but now we see there's a medium in pursuit of one of our lights. Oh, and one of our lights is legged. See if we can get this guy. Oh! Pretty good hit on the Hellspawn. And there we are. We managed to get the kill and save that light. So we're now 40 up. Um, and we can see Contract Pops are dead. Just about scraping there. He's one touch on the centre torso. So we're going to move in for the kill there. Ooh, and you can see a really good car target here right above me. I'm just going to try and lay into him. It's like a block. A knight, that was that knight gave him before, so we take him down. And it's 9 3, so now it's just a matter of finding the remaining three enemy vets and finishing the job. And they appear to be on the Delta 6 ramp. Target acquired. Looks very heavy though. We've got a Highlander. New target acquired. Uh, we've got a Corsair. So quite a lot of, New target acquired. of their heavy mechs seem to be right at the bottom of this this ramp, and we should be very careful. Here. So try and take down the Highlander. There we go. Got a timber wolf, I can see. And here comes the timber wolf. And uh, finally get the kill on the timber wolf. And that's it. Good job, soldiers. Relatively smooth game. I think taking the Delta 5, Delta 6 high ground proved to be decisive there. Uh, the enemy also wanted to do that, and us depriving them the high ground uh, really affected their game. So very good game there. Three kills, seven kill assists, two solo kills. Uh, we've got a match score of 412 and 564 damage inflicted. That's a decent performance. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Override engage. Fleet command coming in. Capture the target area and engage. Okay, the so the final game I would like to showcase this building is on Solaris City. So here we're playing Domination and we're all heading all to the center, to the center circle around Echo 4. So we're not quite sure which which way the team will be heading. Um, often there's a push to the right, but sometimes there's also a push to the left. As we're positioning it, it looks like we are going left. So let's head over to the left. You can already see we've got a contact in Delta 5 Echo 5. Just backing up here, 
I don't want to be walking around the corner blind. It's never a good idea in an assault because you can't reposition. And now we can see that the team has repositioned to the right, so we're going to move on to the right. We don't want to get isolated. Okay, that light seems to be being picked up by two teammates of Fox 4, Fox 3. And we received some fire from the Echo 5 area. Take refuge here, everyone's being very tentative. Oh, and the linebacker backs right into me. Okay, let's see what he was backing up from. Need assistance! Okay, so there's, there are clearly mechs waiting around that corner. I pop a UAV and Target pick them up, um, but I feel a bit stuck at this moment, so I'm going to try and reposition. I'm getting hit from a few different angles at this point. Uh, and the die wolf is blocking my exit. The team is all over the place, it's not really clear what the plan is. Time to focus. Okay, uh, another good game in this mech, although the game was very frenetic and the team didn't seem to uh, have a clear plan, we got there in the end. So let's see how we did. Uh, we got um, a score of 303, 3 kills, 6 assists and pumped out 342 damage, not bad. Okay, so that's it for another video, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, I hope you enjoy the build, should you try it, I hope you do. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.